Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. Today I am going to explain you about glutamate dehydrogenase reaction. Now this glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme is very special in our body because this is the only enzyme in our body which can use NADP or NAD+. And also it can release NADH plus H plus or NADPH plus H plus. This is the only enzyme in our body which will either use NAD or NADP. None of the other enzymes in our body so that can use both NAD or NADP. So in that sense this is a special enzyme. Now. NAD, uh, sorry, glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme is again another, it's a special enzyme because this is the one of the three enzymes in our body, it has got an ability to fix free ammonium ion in the tissues. Whenever there is excess free ammonium ion present in the tissue, so it can be fixed to an organic molecule. So because you know free ammonium ion can lead to neurotoxic effects. So, because ammonia toxicity can have a neuronal uh, degeneration, neurotoxic effects. Most of the time in our blood or in the tissues, ammonium ion is the predominant form of ammonia molecule. So, for every 100 ammonium ion molecules, we have one ammonia or the NH3. Ammonium ion is NH4 plus ammonia is NH3. So, anyway, so whenever there is a ammonium ion available at excess concentration, especially uh, you can see this in the portal system or the portal circulation. So, the around the portal vessels, so especially in the hepatocytes, so the glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme, it is going to fix ammonium ion to alpha ketoglutarate to make glutamate. So, during that process, NADPH plus H plus is used and NADP, NADP plus will be released. So, it is a synthetic reaction here where alpha ketoglutarate is fixed with ammonium ion to make glutamate. That is a special function of glutamate dehydrogenase. This is one of the three enzymes in our body which can fix ammonium ion, free ammonium ion to uh, alpha keto acid. What are the other two enzymes? So, other two enzymes is glutamine synthetase enzyme. This glutamine synthetase, it is going to fix ammonium ion to glutamate, this glutamate and convert that into glutamine. Now, the third enzyme is carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1. This carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1, it is present in the mitochondrial matrix and it is the very first enzyme in urea cycle where it is going to fix ammonium ion with the bicarbonate to make carbamyl phosphate. So, uh, that is one of the regulated enzyme in urea cycle. That means we have three enzymes that can fix ammonium ion to an organic molecule. One is glutamate dehydrogenase, second is uh, glutamine synthetase, third is carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1. Now, glutamate dehydrogenase is also special in the sense that it is going to conduct this reversible reaction here. So, the glutamate can be broken down into alpha ketoglutarate and ammonium ion. Majority of time in our liver, this is what is the reaction going on conducted by glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme. Because they, during transamination reaction, so all these amino acids, they give their amino group to alpha ketoglutarate and that alpha ketoglutarate will become glutamate. So, amino group of most of the amino acids in our body they will be there in the form of glutamate and this glutamate when it comes to the liver in the form of glutamine. So, that glutamine, it will be broken down into glutamate and then glutamate in the liver will be broken down into alpha ketoglutarate and ammonium ion is released. Now, what will happen to this ammonium ion in the liver? This ammonium ion, it will be taken into urea formation because urea cycle is there in the liver. So, this is how uh, amino group of all the amino acids in the peripheral tissues, they will come to the liver in the form of glutamate and this glutamate will be broken down into alpha ketoglutarate and ammonium ion release that means amino group ammon uh, nitrogen will be converted into urea in the liver. Now, sometimes whenever the urea cycle is saturated at that time what will happen? So, there will be accumulation of ammonium ion in the liver. So, during that process what happens, so this ammonium ion which is accumulated whenever urea cycle is saturated, accumulated ammonium ion in its toxic form. So, there is a way to get rid of this ammonium ion. So, what it does, 
So liver is going to fix this. This is glutamate dehydrogenase in the liver. Same enzyme. It is going to fix this ammonium ion to alpha ketoglutarate and that will become glutamate. And glutamate furthermore it will be converted into glutamine uh, because it can take up one more ammonium ion that is elevated in the liver. That happens only when there is uh, saturation in the urea cycle or if there is too much of ammonia present in the liver going beyond the capacity of urea cycle to neutralize it or to fix it. During that process ammonium ion fixed to alpha ketoglutarate and that will become glutamate. Glutamate is fixing one more ammonium ion and that becomes glutamine and liver is going to secrete this glutamine into the blood and then it will go to the kidney. So kidney is going to break down glutamine into glutamate uh, by glutaminase enzyme and the glutamate furthermore is broken down into alpha ketoglutarate and ammonium ion. So during this process so ammonium ions that are released in the kidney so basically they will be filtered into urine. So ammonium ion salt formation will be going on in the kidney. That's the way to get rid of protons from the renal tubules into the urine. So that's the that's how glutamine is uh, basically the excess ammonium ion that are present in the liver. They will be sent out of the liver in the form of glutamine. They will go to the kidney and they will be filtered into the urine. Now glutamine can also be taken up by intestine. So what intestine does with the glutamine? So intestine is going to use this glutamine for energy purpose. Glutamine is converted to glutamate, glutamate into alpha ketoglutarate and it is going to use that alpha ketoglutarate for energy purpose. And what it is going to do with the ammonium ion that is released during that process, that ammonium ion it will be converted to urea. Note that liver or intestine can also synthesize urea to a certain extent but not like uh, how much in, uh, urea that is synthesized in the liver. So overall our central enzyme here is glutamate dehydrogenase which is catalyzing the reversible reaction. It breaks glutamate into alpha ketoglutarate during that time NAD is converted to NADH plus H plus and if there is excess ammonium ion it is going to fix this ammonium ion with alpha ketoglutarate and make glutamate during that process NADPH plus H plus is used and NADP is released. So this is all about uh, glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme. So for transamination reaction there is uh, uh, the link for that is there in the description below and also it is appearing at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions so uh, put that in the comment section below. Make sure you click that subscription button to get the regular updates on uh, biochemistry concepts. And thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video.